Hi, welcome to Business Automated. Airtable is in many ways a revolutionary improvement versus Microsoft Excel or even Google Sheets. However, there are many use cases when you still might be forced to go back to good old Excel. Today, we'll show you how to automatically export your data from Airtable to Microsoft Excel. Let's get to it. As example, we'll use our Big Cats Petting Zoo database. Let's assume that you have inventory of products. In this case, it's going to be animals that you have for rent at certain hourly hour, and you have certain clients that might be interested in renting those animals, let's say for their TV show or movie production. First step is to create the table that we'll be exporting into Excel. In our case, this will be the booking. So let's quickly add here the animals that we'll be renting out. Airtable also suggests what would be the useful lookup fields. In our case, we will select the icon, name, and the hourly rate. Next step is to add our client. The first column is number, the second column is the animal. The lookup of the icon column will be necessary in the next step. We also have the name, we have the hourly rate. Let's select one of the clients. Let's say Jimmy Kimmel Live. We also are looking up the name of the client. Um, and then the next step will be to book the number of hours and calculate the total fee using a formula. And in the formatting, we'll select currency as the type of value. We have also added the data, the date of the booking and some notes. Another technical column that we will add here will be the last modified column. And the final column will be export to accounting. All the records that are having this checkbox, we would like to send out to, to our accounting. So these might be all the bookings that we are taking uh, during the week. Let's fill out with, uh, let's fill out them with some examples. All right, so these are all our bookings. We might not want to export all of them straight away to Excel. We might be interested to export only selected ones. So the ones that we would like to export, we would mark with the checkbox here. And to have a view that shows only the selected ones, we have created a second view, which is called Send to Accounting. And in this view, we will filter out only records that contain export to accounting field. All right, now the next step is to set up our scenario in Integromat. We are starting a new scenario. The first step is to connect to Airtable. We're gonna select watch records and we need to select the base that we are working on. We need to select the table from which we're gonna be exporting. The last modified field will be necessary here to indicate for Airtable which field needs to be exported. Finally, we also need to select the view. We will not be selecting all the records that we have, but only the records that are showing up in the send to accounting view. For the maximum number of records, this is the number of records that will be exported per time. We can set it to a higher number, let's say 100, depending how many records we, we are generating. And we'll select from now on. So every record from modified from now on will be exported through watch records to our Excel. To export to Excel, we'll be using connection to Microsoft 365 account.
a new worksheet row. I have already created an Excel sheet on my OneDrive, so it's located in a folder on my OneDrive, and I have created the headers that I'm interested to see in my export files. So the name of the file is export from Airtable, and this is the file that I'll be connecting with using this uh, this module. And what we are using here is a add a new worksheet row module. So once your connection to Office 365 is um, established, what you need to find is to select the proper workbook. And this will be the folders that you have on your OneDrive. We need to select which worksheet we will be adding our data to. We only have one. And the next step will be to map the columns inside of our inside of our table. What we are going to select, we are exporting variable, we are selecting values, so we're going to select values. And each of the rows in our Excel sheet, we are going to map with values from our table. For the number, we are going to use the number. For the animal, for the client, we are going to select the name of the client. For the category, we're going to select the category. For the animal, we will not use the animal column because the animal column here would give us a link to the inventory instead of the actual name. That is why we are having the separate icon column here. So we are going to select icon. Next step, we're going to select the name. Then we're going to select the hourly, hourly rate, number of hours total fee, date of contract, and any other notes that we might have. Okay, so this is, this is ready. Let's make sure that we are exporting all the contracts that we want. And now we click run once too. As we can see, only two records were exported, and the middle record has not been exported because it has been modified before we have created this scenario. But we can see that in this case, we are going to modify it again by clicking and unclicking check for export. Now the modified date has changed, so running this scenario again will generate that additional, additional export. All right, and we can see that the last row has been updated by sending that additional record. So we can update a few more. And now we can see that all those records are being exported into Microsoft Excel. Another useful feature is scheduling and it's regular intervals, whether it's minutes or whether it's every day or whether it can be, for example, once per, once per week in a specific day of the week. I hope you like this video. Please let us know what other business automation needs you have and please subscribe to the channel.